popping y'all it's eleni um happy new year i'm so excited for this new year because it is coming with a lot of work um and i know that sounds like why are you excited about all this work you got to do i'm excited about all this work because it's work that i actually like and love and um yeah like it, it just further puts me on my path so i'm excited about it um there is gonna be a lot a lot a lot for me to do but i'm okay with that um i am actually here today to talk to y'all about um this cleanse i did because i have been doing a cleanse that lasted the entire month of december and a lot of people had asked me about this cleanse and asked me what i was doing and especially once i got to the juicing part and once i started actually telling people oh i'm cleansing i'm cleansing um people started getting really interested like what are you doing how did you do it and so on and so forth so i'm gonna share with y'all a little bit of that and i know i look really sleepy but it's mad early and i just woke up um okay so that's okay um my hair even looks a little messed up but that's all right too because i'm about to take this out and get it done over so um about this clinton so First of all, let me just start off saying that cleansing is not easy and it's not for everyone. Um, and also, it's not for everyone at every point in their life. So I did this cleanse and I have never been mature enough to actually complete a cleanse aside from this one. Um, my fiance the entire time. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I told y'all sleepy. Sleepy New Year's with lots of work. That's how it's welcoming me. Welcoming me, but I'm good. Um so where was i yeah i had never been mature enough to do a cleanse my fiance was asking me the entire time i was cleansing so you really doing this so you really doing this and i'm like yeah i'm doing this it's day 17 what you talking about like come on bruh support me but he was very supportive so um and i appreciated him asking me rather than just being like hey you want a cookie or hey you want a burger or hey you want this or hey you want that um, because the people around you and who you surround yourself with um, can have a big impact on your cleanse and what you experience while you're cleansing. So um, the purpose of the cleanse for me was to get rid of bad habits um, and also to better listen to my body. I feel like I am good at listening to my emotional self, but I'm not good at listening to um my body functions sometimes um when it comes to my head i feel like i'm really good at listening but the rest of my body when it comes to body functions i'm like all right i'm pretty good like listening to like my vagina what my vagina wants but like everywhere else specifically my gut has been pretty troubling and pretty um difficult for me to listen to and i say that because um I truly do believe that a lot of the diseases that we are faced with, a lot of the things that we um, come in contact with in our life, um, including depression and anxiety, I really do feel like um, it has a home or a place or it lives in our gut. Um, and that includes the stomach, the intestines, the liver, all of that, all the areas that process food and bring the body nutrients and so on and so forth. So I really wanted to clean that shit out okay i wanted to clean that shit out um so my purpose was to listen to my body to break bad habits and if some weight loss came with it i was welcoming it because i used to be 233 pounds um and my weight has fluctuated once i got to like 180 my weight started fluctuating between 180 and 158 um, depending on what I was doing, how hard I was working out, where I was at in the world. Anytime I traveled, I would lose weight, even regardless of how much I was eating. Um, and like, of course, I would lose weight if I was working out like crazy. But I had to work out like crazy to lose weight. Like, it's true when they say kitchen um, abs is made in the kitchen. Because, bitch, the gym don't do shit. I mean, it do. It tone up and all that kind of stuff. And that's all great or whatever. But... After a while, I just didn't like going to the gym anymore. But that's a whole nother topic. So, um, so yeah, I was welcoming weight loss if it happened. The thing with cleansing, okay, you have got to have a plan. 
you have got to have a plan and i'm not going to tell you how to cleanse in this video i'll probably come back with another video and tell you how to do it but i would just want to share with you some of the things that i did so where i started with this cleanse was i started with um queen of fools heal thyself okay um i bought this book back in june and when i first got this book i was like nah son absolutely not i can't do it not the way she talking about it and i said all that because i felt like it was too preachy for me i felt like um it was too churchy and mind you there's no i'm not gonna say there's no religious affiliation here because there's some spiritual slash religious affiliation in this book um but I just was not mature enough to get what I needed from it at that time. I wasn't ready yet. And this is what I mean by you need to be mature um, to be able to do a cleanse. And it's not just mature um, in a sense that like, oh, I'm ready to do a cleanse. Like I'm old enough. I should be able to be in control of my body. No, I mean like you need to be um, mentally mature, spiritually mature to be able to receive what people are giving to you and also to be able to take that information and use it in the right way and not to be dismissive of it um because when i first got this book once i started seeing all like oh you have to pray you have to pray you have to pray you have to pray maybe it's the word pray that i associate with um past experiences that maybe just and i don't have issue with prayer but like something about it kept saying like pray 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 rubbed me the wrong way back then but when i looked at it this time i was just like you know that really makes a lot of sense and i can't even remember why um i was so adverse to it in the first place so um you definitely have to be mature enough to do a cleanse and if you're going by somebody else's guideline if you're you know working your own thing out then you work your own thing out but you have to step out of your ego for a cleanse as well <laughs> so did that um i looked at her book a second time and i was like all right i can do this and i'm not i know me i'm not gonna do it every single little thing she says to do okay just because that's not the type of person i am um and i also didn't feel like buying shit i'm an herbalist um it's what i do as a profession i didn't i like i feel like i can sub out a lot of this shit and i can use what i have because i'm not gonna spend extra money um that i don't have to do a cleanse um, when I have all these other products and plants here that do very similar functions. So the most important things that I got from this book was to um, pace yourself. I've always heard um, about easing into a cleanse, but she also has um, some, excuse me, she has levels to her cleanse, okay, which I really appreciate it. So her levels were, and I can't find the page it starts on, but I'll show you one example. Her, she had three different levels, and there's one that's like nutritional cleansing and natural living, and that was like the first seven days, and like the do's and don'ts of what you eat. Um, and basically those first, uh, I think for her it was like first two to four days or something like that, where you eat nothing but um, fruits, veggies, and you have a cooked protein once in the afternoon, your lunch meal is your biggest meal, and you don't eat after seven. And you have three meals a day, and then you could have like juices or whatever in between with those meals. Um, verbatim on the list, it was in the morning, you have either a fruit or a vegetable juice. You don't mix fruits and veggies. Um, I did that for the first week. After the second week, I was like, I can't drink these juices um, by themselves. I need to mix my fruits and my veggies. It was just too much. It was too much of a green flavor for me. It was very strong. But um, the next time I do the cleanse and we talk about maturity again, I definitely will try to do just the, um, the green juices and then the fruit juices and then the vegetable juices separate because there was definitely a difference in drinking the green juices by itself than drinking them mixed. When I drank the green juices by themselves within that first week when I was still even eating food, I can feel my body detoxing. I can feel detox symptoms, which aren't pleasant. Your detox symptoms are things like headaches and um, nausea and dizziness and um upset stomach and so on and so forth because you are pushing out toxins right so um i felt all of those things when i drank the pure green juice 
um and i did not like it. it wasn't pleasant but i knew that's how i knew the cleanse was working because i could feel those different symptoms that she warned me about also <laughs> that she warned me about so i knew it was coming um so the first couple days was um juice um ju fruit or vegetable juice um for breakfast then your two to three pieces of fruit for breakfast or vegetables for breakfast and then um your nutritional pill or whatever she takes like a herbal proprietary blend um i didn't take that i ended up just adding some nutrients to my juice adding a little bit of fiber um, from flax seeds from chia seeds and so on um and calling it a day adding like spirulina wheatgrass things like that to the juices chlorella because they have a lot of nutrients the um what are these things called seaweeds and things like that that have a lot of nutrients and then also um i use dr sebi's i should have brought it over here that shit is death um if you follow me on instagram you probably have seen me like gag on that shit before but dr sebi's bladder rack and sea moss powder it's absolutely horrible but i have empty capsules now so i just put the powder in the capsule so that i could take it and not lose my fucking mind excuse my language so um then there's level two of the fasting um of the cleanse which is um what is it level two is all raw foods all raw fruits and vegetables same kind of meal plan where you have the juice the couple fruits a day um and then for lunch you have like a huge salad with a juice and so on and so forth same thing for dinner you have a huge salad again okay then there's level three which is the actual fasting part the nutritional fasting which you'll have um a breakfast um of, oh yeah i forgot the kidney and liver flush the kidney and liver flush is nothing but uh lemon juice and some type of colon de blocker um she calls a colon de blocker here but colon de blocker is just like fiber i mixed up some bentonite clay plantago husk and um flaxseed and some lemon juice as well and that was mine um 12 drops of liquid kyolic or one to two fresh cloves of garlic i use the garlic because again things on hand um some cayenne pepper in distilled water and that was the liver flush so that's what i would have in the morning and then i would have my breakfast which was the fruit juices then the lunch which was the vegetable juices and then dinner would be vegetable juices again um she had a really good tip in here that i found really useful that if you have to prepare food for other loved ones which i do i prepare food for my fiance um then you need to drink your juice before you prepare food or drink extra juice and the thing that i really loved about this book once i was mature enough to look at it which was this time is that she said um you know if you mess up like it's all right and like for the longest time in my life i have been having that mentality of like you know what if you mess up fuck it like you ain't dead keep going like if you mad about something that's all right be mad but get over it because you still have a life to live and it's the same thing with cleansing and i had never applied it to cleansing before if you mess up don't be like oh i already fucked up today i'm gonna eat six more slices of pizza no the moment you mess up and the moment you're like ah fuck i'm supposed to be on a cleanse damn like i'm i'm not really proud of myself right now all right, that moment that you feel like I'm not proud of myself, you go drink you a green juice. You go drink you something that's going to pour back into yourself and pour back into the goal that you had originally set for yourself. And then you keep going. That way it's not like you don't sit in that mode of guilt. You don't um, start having these weird relationships with food and with eating and with whatever because you feel guilty now. Fuck all that guilt shit. If you mess up from something that you dedicated yourself to, know that that's all right you have every second to begin anew and just keep on going so if you mess up three days then keep going um when i was juicing the sixth day of juicing i had some chips i had some cassava chips and i was like oh i wasn't supposed to have those cassava chips but you know what i needed those cassava chips in that moment i written like and i'm not talking about like i couldn't control myself i was hungry or whatever because i wasn't hungry um which i was also grateful about this cleanse that i wasn't hungry um and that was the first time in my life where i'm like oh i actually don't need all of this food these huge ass plates of food to feel satiated to feel satisfied um i just need a little bit and then even talking to my fiance sister saying that like food is actually what makes us sick because we overeat and i'm like bro we overeat all the time 
and it's, it's crazy it's just it's too much it's crazy it's too much so um let me see yeah so day six i had had some cassava chips and it was just like i needed them because i needed something in my belly that wasn't liquid and i just that's what i needed at the time oh excuse me while I was cleansing and I had the meetings outside the house because that's gonna happen I went to places that I knew could align with what I was doing so I went to um, somewhere in New Orleans called Good Karma Cafe and I had a juice and I met with a financial advisor there um, and yeah so the way that I set it up was I did the first seven days green um, the colon deblocker slash kidney liver flush um, two pieces of fruit in the morning and whatever fiber then i had my big green salad in the day with lentils um sprouted lentils or regular lentils or cooked lentils it was really cooked lentils that first week um and then i had a big salad at dinner and then eat all of those meals accompanied a juice okay i may have not even had juices with every meal um that first week just because i felt full all the time and i could feel like i couldn't get everything in but it is important that you take it in um, as much as you can because you want to have that nutrient density in your body while you're doing a cleanse. You want to flush out everything else that's in your system. The second week, again, was all raw food. So fruits in the morning, big ass salad in the daytime, big ass salad for dinner, sprouted lentils because they're raw. Okay. No cooked protein at all, period. Um, and then the last seven days, I did... Um, straight juicing and i made it to day six because day seven was the winter solstice and i wanted to celebrate the winter solstice with a meal i did six days of juicing um i'm sorry i got the sniffles y'all but it's really cold down here um after the winter solstice after i had my meal my meal wasn't in line in alignment with what i had already been doing for the month so um, the only difference was that it wasn't a raw meal, but it was a meal that was very nutrient dense. It was a meal that, um, was decolonized. And when I talk about decolonization, I mean like not of like colonial, um, just, it just wasn't European food. Okay. Um, so it was like mashed bananas and, but cooked mashed bananas, um, and, uh, gandules or pigeon peas and some other things um and that was my winter solstice meal and then after that i went back to eating some raw salads went back to eating um different things from my cultural diaspora and just like eating a lot of puerto rican foods and indigenous foods and food that i had grew up on but without rice without grains without potatoes um without any root vegetables um and that worked really well and i found myself eating way less than i ever have eaten in my life because i realized i don't actually need all of this food all the time um so yeah and then so the results um i was a lot more clear-headed um i got really really tired by week three because of that juicing that juicing bruh like you will feel great for the first two or three days and then and that's after the first two weeks like you don't just go into a juice cleanse that's not it's not helpful you're not going to finish you might finish i wouldn't have finished so that first two or three days juicing i was lit i couldn't sleep um i ended up writing a poetry book and cranking the entire poetry book out almost within that week um I started I think on the 22nd or 23rd and then I finished by the 29th oh my god I'm so tired today I'm sorry y'all um and then I cranked that out by the 29th and like all of that came from the cleanse like if I hadn't been doing the cleanse I would have still had that stagnancy I would have still been like dragging my feet like oh I want to get it done but I want to get this done but and um yeah i also had ended up getting a yeast infection during the cleanse and i think that was in part to um the body getting rid of waste okay um the yeast infection was really really bad too um i did use some tips from this book by um susan weed 
down there you can get this book if you want to um i i feel like it's a little bit helpful there are some things in here that's kind of contradictory to my own personal beliefs um and i find that very interesting i'm not going to get into that right now but um pal Arco, i sell pal Arco and i use pal Arco and pal Arco is also recommending this book golden rod um chamomile cranberry juice like things that are going to make the vagina acidic and i wish i had um known that sooner because i would have had those things on hand because i didn't have cranberry juice on hand i had all my herbs on hand but the cranberry juice makes the vagina acidic and i didn't have that on hand and i wish i did because it would have just made life a whole lot easier and made the yeast infection going away a whole lot quicker um because the, the vagina needs an acidic environment to um to keep candida albicans from overgrowing okay i also very briefly looked into this ayurveda for life book um i can't actually tell y'all what i got from here because um it was during my um cleansing not cleansing but during the juicing part and i was so tired during those next couple days of juicing that it was like hard to do anything but also keep in mind if you get tired that is part of detoxing you getting tired and you like getting rid of all the bullshit that is in your body that you've been feeding your body and that's been accumulating your body for however long um some more results my skin is super soft and it hasn't been this soft in forever mind you i have no gluten no i have a lot no lot of stuff okay no meat no dairy no nothing not that i, I don't even eat that shit on a regular basis but still my skin it feels so soft like so soft um, my elbows feel soft my ankles feel soft my knees feel soft and like for a lot of people those are problem areas but everything um feels amazing even like the spots where i like normally have little eczema or whatever let me see if you can see it on the camera they like the spots are still kind of there but they're starting to to go away again um and they're but they're soft though instead of being like flaky or crusty or whatever now um yeah so skin is soft um skin on my face was super soft and bright and brilliant and just amazing and it just it still feels oh so good um this camera doesn't do it justice y'all gotta see it um and then i lost 13 pounds within the first i lost five pounds within the first week I lost 10 pounds within the second week and 13 pounds by the end of the month. Um, so, and it, it stayed off even after I started eating because the 13 pounds really did happen. It was more like 11 pounds by the time I was done juicing. And then I started eating not regular, regular foods, yes, but like without the bread and rice and without a lot of the carbs. Um, and without a lot of cooked food. Like if I had something cooked, it was like a protein, like a legume or something. Um, and after that, I pretty much, um, kept losing weight. So that was cool. Um, the skin on my belly and on my arms is a little looser because of the weight loss. And usually you shouldn't really lose weight that fast. Um, which is the reason why I'm probably not going to go directly back into another cleanse. I want to go directly back into another cleanse because this was such a profound experience. Um, cause I didn't even get to talk about the spiritual experience, but I'm already almost at 25 minutes. So I'm going to try and wrap this up and maybe come back with the spiritual experience of cleansing in another video. But, um, yeah, like it was just really, uh, a beautiful experience the skin is is loose you, you shouldn't lose um weight so so fast that the skin ends up being loose but um if it happens then you could do something called dry brushing which i will come and show you in another video probably in february um because i will be reviewing a product by minimal okay um if there's anything that y'all want me to talk about any questions y'all have about cleansing please let me know i would be happy to tell you about cleansing um about what I did, when I'm gonna do it next, and so on and so forth. Any questions y'all have about lifestyle, about herbalism, about plant medicine, please drop them in the comments below and I promise I'll make a video for it. 
um this month my goal is to make five videos so this is number one and i'm not even gonna count it so five more videos it's my birthday month my saturn return starts january 11th um my book is out on amazon.com saturn return one glimpses of the past so if you want to go and cop that i'm gonna put a link below uh and um Thank you for your patience and listening to my cleansing. I know I'm a little tired. My hair's a little jacked up, but I'm still popping. So I will see y'all later and y'all have a beautiful day.